and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to crochet the crocheted sunshine cowl. I just released this pattern in my Etsy and Ravelry shops, so be sure to check out the links in the description box below to download your pattern. If you use the code sunshine at checkout on Ravelry, you can download the pattern for free for a limited time, so be sure to do that. For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I am using three skeins of Knit Picks Shine in the color Cosmopolitan in this tutorial, but you can also use any other um, cotton yarn or cotton blend or any other worsted weight yarn that you enjoy using. You will also need a size H or 5mm crochet hook. I have this one that I use a link in the description box below if you would like to check it out. You will also need scissors and a yarn needle for finishing off your cowl. So thank you so much for joining me today. Let's hop over and make our cowl. To begin our cowl, we're going to start by making a slip knot and then placing that on our hook. Now we are going to chain 32. So to chain, just yarn over and pull through that loop. We're going to repeat this 32 times to reach 32 chains. Okay, once you have finished your chain of 32, we are going to start with row 1. So we're going to place a single crochet in each stitch across for, round, for row 1. And to do this, we're going to start by skipping this first chain and then placing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. To work a single crochet, is simply insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through 1, yarn over, pull through 2. Again, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to repeat that all the way across. Okay, so once you have finished this row, you should have 31 stitches, and now we are going to start row 2. For row 2, we are going to chain 1 and turn. We're going to place a single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain 3, and skip 3. So skip 1, 2, 3 stitches. Insert your hook into the next stitch, into that fourth stitch, work a single crochet, and then work a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we have just worked a chain three, skip three, three single crochets. We're going to repeat that four times total. So we just did it once, now we're going to do it again. So chain three, skip three, single crochet in the next three. Chain three, skip three, single crochet in the next three, chain three, skip three, single crochet in the next three. And now we're going to chain three once again, skip three, and then just single crochet in the last two. So that makes the end match the beginning. And that is row two. For row three, this is going to be the first round of our repeat. So we're going to chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch. Now we're going to skip this next stitch and double crochet seven in the chain three space. So start by skipping the first stitch, yarning over, inserting your hook into that chain three space and work a double crochet. Do that six more times for a total of seven double crochets. Okay, and now we're going to skip one stitch. So this is one of our three single crochets that we did in the last row. Single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, 
and work seven double crochets again in that chain three space. Skip, single crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, double crochet seven in the chain three space. Skip a stitch, single crochet in that next stitch, skip that last single crochet, and again double crochet in the chain three space. and seven double crochets in that last chain three space and if at any point I'm going too fast for you or um, you need to pause don't be afraid to do so just pause the video catch up and then meet me back here okay so I just worked my last seven double crochets and now we're just going to single crochet in the last stitch and that completes row three Row four in our second row of the repeat, we're going to chain four and turn. We're going to skip three stitches. So we're going to skip the single crochet and then two double crochets and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So we are placing three single crochets in the center of that seven double crochet shell. Then we're going to chain three and skip five stitches. So we're skipping these last two double crochets, the single crochet, and then two more double crochets, single crochet in that last, in those next three single crochet, uh, double crochet stitches. And we're just going to repeat that across. So again, chain three, skip five, single crochet, in the next three double crochets. Okay, once you have done your last three single crochets in those stitches, we're going to chain one, skip the last two double crochets, yarn over, and place a double crochet in the last stitch. So back at the beginning, this chain three um, or chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So the chain three is the double crochet and then the last chain is the chain one. So we should remember that on the next row. Okay, row five, we are going to chain three and turn. And we are going to place three double crochet stitches in this chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into that space, and work three double crochets. Then we're going to skip one stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then place seven double crochets in the chain three space. And we're going to skip this single crochet as well. So again, skip the single crochet, place seven double crochets in that chain three space. And then skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip the next stitch, seven double crochets in the chain three space. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way across. So I just worked my single crochet and now in this chain four space from the beginning of the last round we are going to work four double crochets. Just like so. So that just matches the beginning of the row. 
Okay, now for row six in our last row of the repeat, we're going to chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And again, these single crochets will be centered on top of that seven double crochet shell. And we're going to repeat that all the way across. So chain three, skip five, single crochet in the next three. Okay, so I have done my last three double crochets, or single crochets, excuse me, and I have chained three. I'm going to skip five stitches again. So one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the second to last stitch, and then single crochet in the last stitch. Remember that the chain three counts as a stitch. This counts as a double crochet. And so we're just gonna single crochet in the top of that. Okay. Now that is the conclusion of our repeat. So you're just going to repeat rows three through six until you have 53 total rows. I'm going to repeat them once more for you here just to be sure that you understand and then I will leave you to finish your towel. So going back up to row three, we're going to chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch, skip the next stitch, and work seven double crochets in that chain three. Skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, double crochet seven in the chain three space. We're just gonna repeat that all the way across. I just worked my last seven double crochets and now I'm going to single crochet in this last stitch just like that row four chain four and turn skip three stitches one two three single crochet in the next three stitches chain three Skip five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next three. And we're gonna repeat this all the way across. Okay, now once you have worked your last three single crochets, we're going to chain one and place a double crochet in that last stitch. And we're gonna move on to a five. Chain three and turn and place three double crochet stitches in that chain one space. Then we're going to skip one, single crochet in the next st stitch, skip one, single crochet seven, no, double crochet, excuse me, seven in this chain three space. That's four. And there's seven. We're gonna repeat that all the way across. Probably catching a rhythm now. This stitch is very intuitive once you get into it, but it can be slightly tricky to start just because even though all of the rows are similar, you do a few thing, um, a few different things on the edge just to make them straight. It's a really fun pattern once you get into it. Okay, I have just worked my last single crochet 
Now I'm going to place four double crochets in this chain four space. Remember that this chain four counted as a double crochet and a chain one. There we go. Row six in our final row in our repeat, chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip five stitches, single crochet in each of the next three. We're going to repeat that all the way across. Okay, I have just worked my last chain three, and now I'm going to place a single crochet in each of the last two stitches. So we have our last double crochet, and then remember that this chain one counts as a double crochet. So we're going to single crochet into it. And there we go. Now we're just going to repeat rows three through six until we have 53 total rows. And I just want to take a minute to show you a little trick that I have found. Because this is a repeat of four rows, it can sometimes be a little bit hard to find your place if, say, you have to put it down and go fix dinner or go take care of some laundry or whatever the case may be. If you have to put your work down, it can be a little bit hard to find your place. So, one thing that I have found, there's two ways to do this. So, first off, I'm going to switch it to the right side, which is this side. You can see your beautiful double crochet stitches. So, the first thing that you could do is count your rows. So, this single crochet row here at the bottom is row 1. So, all you have to do is count up. The way that I like to count is like so. So, row 1 is, or this single crochet row, excuse me, is row 1. I like to count in the center. So, I'm going to count this as one row. These three single crochets are row 2. This scallop row or this little center single crochet is row three. This hole is row four because this is our chain three. This double crochet row is row five. And then this is row six. So then, since we repeat rows three through six, just start back at three on the next row. So here's my next row. That was row three. Row four, row five, and row six. So I now know that I start on row 3 when I start back. So I hope that makes sense. I do have one other method if, um, if that was a little bit tricky. You can also look at the edge of your work. So you will notice that two of the repeat rows start with a chain 3 or a chain 4, and then two of the repeat rows start with a single crochet. So you can kind of tell where you are based on that. So you can see that here's my row 1, and that is not a repeat row. And then here's my row 2, I started with a single crochet. And then here's row 3, and it started with a single crochet. Row 4, started with a chain. Row 5, started with a chain. And row 6, started with a single crochet. And then we're back at row 3, it started with a single crochet. Row 4, chain. Row 5, chain. Row 6, single crochet. So I hope that one of those two tricks will kind of help you out. Again, once you've got it and once you know the stitch pattern and are familiar with it, it's a lot harder to lose your place just because you'll be able to read your crochet. Um, but if, if that takes some time for you, then I hope that one of those two tricks will help you out. Again, I'm always ready and willing to answer any questions that you may have. Just be sure to message me or leave them in the comments below. Okay, so now I am going to go repeat rows three through six until I have 53 total rows and I will meet you back here when I have done that to show you how to slip stitch and join your cowl. Alrighty so I have just finished row 53 on my cowl. You can see it has gotten quite long now which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to work the last row. So all I'm going to do is single crochet in each stitch and chain across. So we're going to work a single crochet in these first two stitches, and then we're just going to play, place three single crochets in this chain three space. If you'd like, um, you can, let me do these next three and then I'll show you. So if you'd like, you can single crochet in the actual chain itself. You can go over under one loop or two loops, whichever. 
Um, I find that that can be kind of tight, especially since we are walking into this stitch and then trying to walk into this chain. I just find that it, it looks great and it's easier to do if you just place three small crochets into that space itself. Um, okay, so we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way down. Okay, so I just finished my last single crochet stitch and now we are done with the um, rows of our cowl. So now we're just going to do the last step, which is to join our cowl ends together so that it becomes a circle and something that we can wear. So to do that, it's super simple, but I know that it can be very helpful to have a visual um, kind of representation of what it'll look like. So what we're going to do is lay our cowl out. I know that it's not all going to fit in the screen here, but I will do the best that I can. So we are going to fold it in half, just like this, with the wrong sides facing us. So you can tell that it's the wrong side because on all of these double crochet scallops here, you can see the bumps, whereas on the right side, it's very smooth, just like that. So we know that this is the wrong side. Now we are going to chain one over here. So I, I still have it on this side. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So again, the wrong side is facing me. It's just like I was going to work a new, a new row. Just continue. So um, now we are just going to slip stitch the two ends together. So to do that, I chain one. I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch. Then I'm going to insert my hook into this first chain on the opposite end. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. So again, that's inserting your hook into the next single crochet. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. Insert your hook into the next single crochet insert your hook into the next chain and when determining where to place your hook in the chain I like to place it in the same spot as that single crochet so you can see the single crochet right here insert into the very bottom of that you went over and pull through all the loops so we're just going to repeat this all the way across and this is going to make our ends line up perfectly and you will be able to see a small seam, um, but I will show you that when we're done. And it honestly looks really nice. Like it's not, it's not drawing to the eye. Um, it kind of flows with the whole project just fine. So just slip stitch all the way down. Okay, so I'm just placing my last slip stitch, going into these last two stitches. And now we're going to cut our yarn. Just leave like about a six inch tail for weaving in your ends. And yarn over and pull that through. And now we are done crocheting. So all that's left, and I like to go ahead and do this now so that I don't put it off, is to weave in our ends. So I'm gonna thread my yarn needle or tapestry needle, whatever you have on hand. I'm just going to weave it in and out of this slip stitch edge. This will make it be hidden in the work. Um, you won't be able to see it on the other side. It's super easy to do. I'm just going to do a couple more here. You want to make sure it's secure and doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to come up about halfway and split that yarn just so that it's extra secure. And then cut that end. Come over here to the other side and do this one. I like to fold my yarn in half and then thread it through so that I don't split it worse than it already is. And again, I'm just going to weave in and out of this slip stitch edge just a few times. Just 
just like that. Perfect. Okay, and now you just flip your towel inside out so that the right side is facing. Kind of fluff it out a little bit. And there we go, your finished cowl. I hope that you enjoyed following along with me as I make the crocheted sunshine cowl and that this tutorial was helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below this video or message me on any of my other social media platforms. Let me know if you would like to see more tutorials in the future. I love providing a visual aid um, for those of you that benefit from it to go along with my patterns, so let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then click the notification bell so that you can notify each and every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again next time. Bye!